influenced me. And so when I was in high school, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to get a deal too. I hadn't totally cultivated my style yet, because again, I'm a gumbo, I'm soaking up all of this. So it wasn't where Tracy Lee is now, but I thought it was good enough. And, and this was based off of, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, demos that I did back then and, and seeing the response of people when I let them hear my music, you know, everybody thought it was dope. So I thought I was good enough to get a deal. So I was shocked. We used to do demos back then. You know the demos. Right? <laughs> I know, I know the demos. Yeah, it was a, it's a cassette tape, you know what I'm saying, for all the kids out there. We used to record. Press record and play on a radio, you know what I'm saying? Like this is this is not the <laughs> digital age, you know what I mean? Sure, so, sure. you know, we used to record and, and um we made demo tapes and I would put it in the mail, ship it off to the likes of Profile and Next Plateau and Def Jam and of course never got a response. So mm. by the time I decided to go and to And that college, was on high school. Yeah, it was all in high wow, school. Man. Like wow. I, like in Philly in the scene and just to paint the picture in Philly, it was the Steady Bees and the Cool C's and the Jazzy mm -hmm. Jeffs and the Fresh Prince. Like we were known for the wow. DJs. So Got you it. had Jazzy Jeff, you had Cash Money, you had um, um, Tap Money, you had uh, DJ Mez, you had, um, I mean, it, I mean, wow. we were always known for the DJs. But it was MCs there too. Like I said, you had Will Smith, which mm -hmm. is Fresh Prince, you had Steady B and all these cats that were like holding the city down back in the, in the mid to late 80s. Mm -hmm. EST, uh, Three Times Dope, all of that. And so, but, you know, coming from out of that scene and figuring out, okay, if I go to, if I don't get a deal by the time I get to Howard, then I'm just gonna go to college, man. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big sports fan, so I studied um, broadcast journalism with the hopes of becoming a color commentator. That's, in that's sports, great. you know what I'm saying? That's I mean, crazy, I, I, I play, I mean, I'm an athlete too, so, yep. and that was the, the tug of war. It's like, okay. do I become an athlete? Do I, you know, I had a Division II scholarship in basketball, I was good in baseball, wow. so it was like, do I become an athlete, a professional athlete, or do I do this music thing? Wow. And so, you know, after it didn't really go my way as far as the athletics are mm -hmm. concerned, it was like, all right, I'm going to do the music, but then it didn't really go my way at that time in music, so it was like, you know what? My passion is still sports. I'm going to go to Howard, study broadcast journalism and communications. And that was the That's aspiration, amazing. at least mm -hmm. when I first got there. Okay. But then things changed. So how, how, quick, how quick did things change when you got on the campus from that being your passion? <laughs> One semester. 